Kings and Queens, it's your boy the UP King, the People's Champ, and we back with another video. And in this video, man, we just gonna pick up where we left off in the last video, where we showed you how to use some rattle can spray paint to guide coat your body to find your small imperfection, maybe your big imperfections, you know, your highs, your lows. Well, that's what we showed you in the last video. So in this video, we're going to show you how to block out your body filler or your glazing putty and uh, get those panels back straight. So let's get to it. All right, so as you can see, I already have my spots covered in glaze because that's what I chose to use instead of body filler for those small dings and dents but I already have them covered in glaze. So if you don't know how to uh, mix up body filler or glaze, I have a video and I'll link that video in this video. Either be at the end, might be in the description or it'll pop up on the screen, but it'll be in this video. So you can check that out as well. But got to this process here and we're gonna show you easiest simplest way to block this out and be able to get the panel straight get you ready for some primer so let's do that all right so for my glaze and putty i'm going to be using some let's see what we got here it's actually get it up in there 150 on my door block, sanding block. And uh, what you wanna do is, after you got your good piece, this piece has already been worn out a little bit, so I might have to go with a fresh piece. But what you wanna do is go in an X pattern. Now, this block here pretty much fits some of my areas for me to be able to go in an X pattern, which I'm gonna cross. So I'll go in this direction, then I go in this direction to block the glaze out evenly. Now this is gonna be some of the same process for doing body filler as well. But because I'm using glaze and putty, we're just gonna use uh, a lower grit or a finer grit sandpaper and knock this uh, glaze out. But basically the same process with doing uh, body filler and glazing putty. Go on an X pattern, going in one direction here, one direction there, and get an even flat finish and filling in that uh, area that had the imperfection. So let's show you what we uh, got going. Now, I can have this block and use it like this. Or I can flip the block up like this, but I'm still gonna go in an X pattern. It just depends on what you're actually working on. But no matter what, you're still gonna keep that X pattern going in that direction and cross it. You wanna go in that X pattern until you flatten it all out and it comes uniform with the body. And when you do that X pattern, it's going to break it down, break down the filler or the glaze evenly and give you that flat, clean surface. And if there is a little imperfections or anything, you can either go back over it or your high bill primer will take care of the rest.
Now, when going in that X pattern, you will see that either your filler or your glazing putty will break down evenly and fill in that area. And that's what it should start looking like when you go in that X pattern. And it will break it down, fill in the area, and it'll be even. Now, we had a nice good ding here, if you remember from the last video. And you can see that the glazing putty is filling it in. And I went in X pattern in both directions, doing my cross and it filled in both sides, filled it in completely, filled it in even. So I don't have to worry about if it's gonna look wavy or uh, still leave any type of imperfections. And that's one good way of uh, using the cross pattern technique to do all your body work or your glazing work. A lot of time when you're sanding, you'll find yourself wanting to go in one direction, but it works out a lot better when you go in that cross pattern. Steady going in that one direction is not really going to block out that other side and you'll find yourself sanding down this side but this side is barely being touched so what you want to do again with that cross pattern it'll break it down evenly when you switch up and go in this direction and that direction Alright, so as you can see, we got all our spots blocked out using the X pattern. And we filled in our imperfections. So we can clean it up with some 240 or 320, get it ready for some uh, primer. And then we can high build it. After that, we can uh, guide coat it again, block it out again, make sure everything is straight like we need it, and then uh, start getting it ready for uh, final prep and be ready for paint. So hopefully uh, this video shows you quick, easy way on how you can block out your body filler or your glaze. And just wanted to show you guys uh, the way that I do it on some of your simple and easier imperfections on the body. So let me go ahead and get back to work and I'll get back with you guys. Everything will be a underground time Underground time